Good morning, Quadcopter101, and before we get started, let's get today's shout-out out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Slanted P. Slanted P was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have a really neat uh, drone for you today. This is the LaFont Zaraxa Pro drone. What is the LaFont Zaraxa Pro? Well, it is another, it's a 720p HD camera drone with Wi-Fi FPV. You can tell I got my uh, phone here. It also records video directly to a micro SD card slot. And what makes it special is it has, it's another optical flow drone. That means this drone, when you launch it, it will automatically maintain hover position without your inputs. That makes it very easy for you to take selfie videos, selfie photos, you know, set it up. You don't even have to worry about flying it. It will just maintain and hover its position until you tell it, to, until you move it to another position. Um, let's see, what else? I, I, I think I mentioned it already. It records this video directly to a micro SD card. Uh, there's a micro SD card slot in the back. The advantage of that is that it will eliminate uh, Wi-Fi lag, Wi-Fi frame dropping that you normally see on recorded video. It also records video, by the way, directly to your phone too, so you can get both. <laughs> if you want to record it directly to your phone, it will do such. But keep in mind, the phone video, phone recorded video, We'll probably see some Wi-Fi lag and frame droppings. Um, the video that's recorded to your micro SD card will not. Um, it is powered by a 3S battery, little 7.4 volt micro, or actually it's not micro OC, it's JST connector battery. And, uh, in fact, I'm going to plug it in right now here so I can save the time later here. But it plugs in like so. Now, it's a little eight, eight well, not little, it's a good size battery actually, 850 milliamp per hour battery. But you can put other size batteries in there. It's a very large battery bay, if you can see there. I got a lot of space to the right and left of it and on top of it too. So you, you can probably put larger batteries in there. I wouldn't go too high, you know, maybe 1200 max uh, milliamp per hour because, you know, you increase the size of the battery, you increase the weight of the battery. And that'll decrease the flight capabilities of the drone as you go up in weight. Um, other things about the drone, it has these two windows on front. I like the candy apple red look, but it also has these two windows on front with LEDs beneath there. So that should look cool at night. Also has LED bars on the bottom here. So um, this actually, again, should light up very well at nice to make a nice night flyer. Now let's go over its controller. It's a, Kind of a different looking controller than most. Um, again, it's an FPV flyer, so you have your phone up here. The phone has a little bit of a shade, so if you turn it like such, you can shade your screen to improve the view, the video view. Uh, the buttons are all well labeled. This one here is for takeoff. This one here is for automatic landing. This has a special feature uh, because of the optical flow. It has beeline flying with camera. Press this button here and the drone will fly forward and uh, take video at the same time. Or if you press this button here, the drone will hover in position and do 360 degree rotation. These buttons here are for trimming the pitch and roll. And this button here is for head entering and exiting headless mode. You can start and stop the video recording to the micro SD card by pressing this button here. You can take a photo to the micro SD card by pressing this button here. If you want to record to your phone, you have to use the app to start and stop the video and it will do such. Um, this does flips. You press into the throttle stick and then tell it which direction to flip and it will flip. And you can change the rates from beginner to intermediate by pressing into the pitch roll stick. Well, that's its controls. That's the drone in a nutshell. Let's fire it up, turn it on. It has an on off switch on the side, a nice big one too. <laughs> and turn it on and I will hook up to its app and we'll start flying so hold on folks okay this is the Zoraxa drone app available on Google Play and iTunes and I'm going to hit tap to begin and we should have FPV video coming up here shortly and there's the FPV now I'm going to start the video camera by pressing this button here I'm going to record using the micro SD card and you don't get any indication on the app although you do get an indication on the drone that it's recording by these flashing green lights in the back. So you know it is recording to micro SD card. I'm also going to start recording to the phone, like so. So we're recording both. Let me make sure that that one's recording. And we're also recording to the phone using via Wi-Fi. Now to start the motors, it's down and out, I believe. 
down and in. Maybe I just press the button. Just press the button. <laughs> okay, let's see, hold its position. I'm not doing anything, folks. It's just hovering there. As you can see, so it's optical flow is working. I'm gonna go a little higher. Turn the drone in my way. Get in the video. Sync up the video. And say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the uh, Wi-Fi video on the screen here. There is a lot of lag, so uh, I'm not expecting the, the Wi-Fi video via the screen to be that great. But let's try that beeline first. I'm going to press the beeline button and see what it does. It flies right over my head. What if I press it again? And that stops it. So I just turn it in my direction again if I want to do another beeline. Make sure it goes above my head. And it should fly just a straight line. So I'm going to press the button again. And there it goes. Off in that direction and stopping it there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is come right over my head. Put it over my head. It's not recording video right now, so I guess when you hit that uh, beeline button, it automatically starts and stops the video. But let's go up higher to about that height there. How high are we? Let me look on the, the screen here. I'm saying we are a good 10 meters up. <laughs> so I'm going to hit the button here for rotate. Let's see how that rotates. Well, it drifts while it rotates, but it rotates. <laughs> I'm walking with it <laughs> as it drifts. It does a very fast rotate. Okay, with that in mind, let's go back overhead again, right to about here. Plop it there. And this time, I am going to do a manual rotate if once it stops drifting. Let's see if it stops drifting. Okay, it stopped drifting. Now I'm going to do a slow. Yeah, as soon as I start rotating, it, it starts to drift. So that's why it's a fast rotate, folks, because it drifts fastly or quickly when it's rotating. So, let's bring it back down. Now, other features via its app. Well, it has headless mode. Let's try that. Headless mode activated, pushing forward. That's the headless mode direction, but we can turn it. And with headless mode activated, let's go up a little bit higher, right there. Using the controller, we can manually simulate, follow me. <laughs> okay, all I'm doing is push it forward, and now I'm pushing to the left. With headless mode, it doesn't matter which direction that camera is pointed. It will, that will always be forward, this will always be left, this will always be right, and this will always be back, you know, the direction it was pointed when it took off. So, using headless mode, you can do these type of pan flights, panning shots or simulate, follow me, if you will. Okay, um, next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna try flying it with the app. So let's go back to its, actually, let's see, if I press that headless mode button and hold it down, will it do a one key return? No, headless mode and non-headless mode. So it doesn't, doesn't have one key return, but that's just a marketing ploy anyways for these drones. Let's start that camera up again. Video camera is recording. <laughs> okay, it wasn't recording before because I was using those other features. But let's go back over here. Activate headless mode again. Okay, this is... Okay, it remembers the direction it was pointed when it took off. <laughs> or when, it, when you hit the headless mode button. So if I point it this way and turn the headless mode on, and I push forward, does it come toward me? Yeah, it does. How about if I turn it to the side? Yeah, still does. So that's how the headless mode works, folks. It's not the direction that it was pointed when it took off. It's the direct direction it's pointed when you activate headless mode, like such. And I push forward, and there we go. OK, I haven't done flips yet. Let's try a flip. Turn it toward me, get it in the picture, and flip. Maybe i got to hold it down. Oh, that's rates. Beginner, intermediate. Okay, this is the flip button. Flip. And come back again. Let's try another flip. flip. Left flip. Forward flip. Back flip. 
covered and I'm going to higher rate. Let's see how it flies. Nice flyer. How about can I do a running flip? <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's get a get some speed up on it. Turn it around. Yeah, I can. <laughs> try it that way. Okay. Uh, how about a roll flip? Coming back this way. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay, let's go back up again and show the camera again one more time. Make sure the camera is recording. It is. I see the green. And now one thing about the camera, it seems to be slightly pointed downward, so you're seeing a lot of ground with it. How about if I turn it in this direction? Yeah, I still see a lot of ground. How about if I fly backwards? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you fly backwards, you can... Get a better view of the area. <laughs> that raises the camera up. <laughs> it's a trick I learned from a, what was that, uh, JXD392. You fly backwards, you can get a better view of the surrounding area. But let's come back down again. I'm still in high rate. It's actually a nice flyer in high rate. going around. Now, I wanted to try flying it with the app. So let's land it over here. Come over here and do our landing. I just land in the grass. I press the land button and that's its landing. And I am going to stop the video here. And I'm going to stop the video here. Now, if I'm using the app, I'm not sure that it's going to actually record. Wait, I, one thing I haven't done yet. Let's take off before I forget. Yes, let's send it up. Let's take a couple photos. I haven't shown the photo capability of this, so pressing photos. One more. And let's press, uh, use the app to take a photo with the app. So those are its photo capability. Now I'm going to land it and we're going to take off with the app. We'll put it back on its pad and we're going to turn off the controller and fly it just using the app. So, okay, I restarted the drone and then re reconnected to its Wi-Fi and then restarted its app. So now we should be able to control it using the controller here. Uh, first thing to do is let's start the video. Video is started. And then hit automatic takeoff. And now it's automatic takeoff is working, going up a bit higher. Well, wait a minute here, what's going on here? There we go. <laughs> the controllers. Oh, oh, don't tell me we're out of battery power already. <laughs> we can't be out of battery. Well, I guess we are out of battery power. I was flying for a good time there. Okay, that's the end of its flight time. Um, I could tell because I got blinking lights in the back here too. We'll do another flight. Uh, I'm going to do a follow-on video with this. I'm flying it using its app only, so uh, keep an eye out for that one, folks. That was this was the first flight of it using the controller, but this has potential of being flown with the app. And what I'd like to do, and I'm going to do, is fly this using since this uses 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I'm going to do a future video using the app only and fly it with my Me2 repeater. Uh, this should be able to be flown with repeater and get really good range and really good uh, video, hopefully. So we'll find out in a future flight. So keep an eye out for that future flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.